Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about fractional order PA controlled grid connected PV system. And also we are going to compare with the PA controlled grid connected PV system. So here we are going to use that fractional order PA controller in the voltage control element block, right? So here we are going to use that fractional order PA controller and then we are going to check the response of the system and also we are going to compare with the, the PA controlled grid connected PV system. So first I am going to explain about the, the PV system. So here we have you know, PV. So the single panel have 13 watts. Okay. And then uh, voltage at maximum power point is 29 volt and then current at maximum power point is 7.35 amps. And here we are having 10 series uh, model and then 5 parallel strings. Here you can check the, the maximum power of the PV array for the different irradiation condition. So here you can see that the maximum power is around 10.66 kilowatts at 1000 watts per meter square. And for uh, 500 watts per meter square, the maximum power around 5399 and then here you can see that the maximum power at 100 watts per meter square. Okay, so maximum power is around 10.66 kilowatt at 1000 watts per meter square and at 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, and here we are using a boost converter, right? So because we need to maintain voltage here is 700 volt, right? And then we need to boost up the voltage from this point, right? So here you can see that the single panel volt is 29 and then we are using 10 panel in series so 10 into 29 so is 290 volt. So the 290 volt going to be step up to 700 volt okay. And also this boost converter can be controlled by means of MBPT algorithm. So this is MBPT algorithm so here we are using the P into MBPT okay. So P and MBPT, the P and MBPT going to receive two inputs voltage and current and then we are getting reference voltage here, it going to be compared with the actual P voltage and going to be processed by PA controller and then going to be compared with the SATO3 form, so it will generate the pulse. So this pulse is going to be controlled this, the IGPT of the boost converter not to extract the maximum power from the P panel. And then here uh, we have uh, three phase inverter and then this is uh, LCL filter and, and here we have three phase voltage source the rating is 400 volt and 50 hertz okay here we are going to control this inverter by means of uh, uh, feed forward DQ control right so for that we have to use uh, here we have to use voltage controller here that means we need to measure the voltage of the DC link. So this is a DC link. Okay, you have to measure the DC link voltage. So the DC link voltage will be compared with reference voltage. So we are going to use reference voltage here is 700 volt. Okay, and it will be processed via fractional order PAD controller. So this is fractional order PAD controller. Okay, so here we are using KP 0.1, K3, and lambda is equal to 1.5, and KD we are using 0. 0 1 mu we are using 0.5 so here you can say this is equation for the fractional order uh, PA controller okay and then it will provide ID reference so this ID going to be compared with the actual ID so he, here we are using that uh, uh, PLL and uh, power transformation okay Clark and uh, power transformation in order to generate VDVQ IDIQ and then we have to generate OMRT okay and this ID right so this ID reference is going to be compared with the actual current of the inverter right and then going to be processed by PA controller and then here we are going to apply that uh, the feed forward uh, deep coupling uh, concept okay and finally we are generating the uh, control voltage in the form of DHS and also here we are uh, making that IQ reference is zero because we are sending uh, sending only real power, not reactive power. So that's why we are making IQ reference equal to zero, and then when we compare with the 
IQ of the inverter, right? And then it's going to be passes through APA controller. So here we are applying that uh, feed for compensation control, and then it will be generated the control voltage in the form of Q axis. So next we have to convert this uh, DQ zero into ABC by using inverse power transformation, and then it's going to be processed via pitoling generator. Okay. So it will generate the pulse for this. Uh, uh, these three phase voltage source inverter and it will be controlled the current that mean current flow as well as the real power flow from the PV invert PV to the grid okay so here I am going to make the condition that mean that mean uh, for every one second I am going to vary the irradiation so initially I am going to make irradiation equal to 400 and then 800 and then 600 okay so and I am going to then mean we are going to see the results of the on the PV power here we are going to see the result of and so this is PV power and then we are going to see the result of uh, grid voltage, grid current and descending voltage and then we are going to see about ID IQ reference okay and also you have to check the, the THT of the, and the uh, grid current okay grid current or inverter current okay because uh, whatever generating power from the PV is directly given to the grid so we can measure the THT of the uh, grid current or inverter current okay so it will be having same value so now I am going to simulate this model So initially that irradiation maintained at 400 right and then after that it changed to 800 and then it will be changed to 600 right. So before we need to check that uh, the maximum power for the different condition. So here I am going to make uh, the irradiation equal to 400 and then 800 and then 600 and then check the response and then we have to see the response peak power for peak power for 800 right is 8589 okay 8589 once again so peak power for 800 watts per meter square is 8589 and for 400 for 600 right for 600 is uh, 6475 and then for 400 is uh, 4313 okay so this is theoretical the maximum power point for that uh, different irradiation condition so we need to check this detail in the output response that will be the power so here you can see that uh, we have to use this scale option So here you can see that we are getting around 4307, right? So theoretically the value is 43. The theoretical value is 4313. So but we are getting around 4307. So next you have to check this for 800, right? So for 800. And the actual theoretical value is 8589. Okay, so we can see that what, what actually we are getting. So 8589, so here we are getting around 8570. Okay, so almost it extracting the maximum power from the PV panel. And then here you can see that this is the, uh, the grid voltage, grid voltage is maintained at, uh, at 230 volt. RML set to face to face and then this is you can say that this is a grid current okay so for uh, <coughs> so, so here you can see that for 400 watts per meter square right the grid current around the peak current around is 10 amps okay and for uh, 
एट हंड्रेड वाट्स पर मीटर के लिए पीक करंट अराउंड इस अराउंड सिक्सटीन और सेवेंटीन एम्स ओके सो नाउ यू कैन सी दैट द डी रेड इज इन चेंज टू सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड देन यू चेक दैट द पीक पावर ऑफ दैट पी पावर एट सिक्स हंड्रेड वाट्स पर मीटर स्क्वेयर सो फॉर थेटिकल वैल्यू इस अराउंड सिक्स फोर सिक्स फोर सेवन फाइव six four seven five here we are getting six four six eight six four six eight watts okay so here also we are getting maximum power from the PV panel and also you are going to check the current of uh, uh, grid current right grid current value during that uh, 600 watts per meter square So this is around uh, this needing around total amps per bit. Okay. So and then here we are seeing about IDIQ. So here you can see that the variation of IDIQ with respect to change in irradiation condition. So initially for 400, you can see that the variation of ID value is around uh, uh, 10 amps or uh, 10 to uh, 10 amps. And then here you can see that for ID value during 800 watts per meter is around. Uh, uh, 16 or 17 amps so for 600 watts meter square is around 14 amps 14 or 13 amps and here you can see the iq value so iq value is maintained zero so what's the meaning so we are sending only real power to the grid okay we are not sending any reactive power okay so this is the results of that uh, uh, fraction order, order pa controlled grid connected tv system so let me check the tkht of the system okay so here i am going to take this one that means uh, we sh store that results right uh, this result uh, as name of scope data and data set right so that data will be stored in the workspaces out so here you can see that you can see that scope data so just to track and uh, paste put paste here and enter so you will see that the data set here so next to go to this simling block and then open this power gui right and then build tools fft so now you can select iabc and then you got to change to 50 hertz and then change to same as the maximum frequency so now, now i'm going to check tht so now tht here you can see that the tht around 0.84 percentage okay so I'm going to change the time only 1.5 and then check the THT. So here you can see that THT around 0.45 percentage and then I'm going to change the time to 2.5 and then check the THT. So THT is around the 0.46 percentage only. Okay. So in this method, right, we extract the maximum power, uh, maximum power from the PV and also the THT of the grid and inverter current is around. Uh, uh, is around that means less than one percentage only by using this fractional order PA, PA control local connected PV system. So, next you have to discuss about the same system, uh, but in this system, we are going to use uh, only uh, PA controller in the voltage control element. Okay, once again, so here this model. So, here I am going to open that model. So, here you can see that the same system, but here we are using the PA controller, right? PA controller, and then I have to use the same condition, whatever uh, condition we followed for the fraction order uh, control the current PV system. So, same control and the operating system we have to make here. So, here we have to compare the, the same system result with the PA controlled. Uh, grid connected PV system so first you have to check the PV power so here I am going to use this scale so for 400 uh, watts per meter square uh, the maximum power so we are getting is we will check that one right 
here we are checking 4292 right but in case of fraction order pa control we are getting 4307 but here we are getting only 4292 watts okay and also here you can see that the, the iq value is not uh, settled to zero right it having some value that means um, that means uh, it uh, that means uh, grid current right grid current or inverter current having some harmonics okay so it sends some reactive core also okay so that's why we are getting uh, this iq having some value so let me check that current of the grid okay so here you can see this is the current of the uh, grid so here this is a grid current right during that uh, 400 watts per meter square so next we have to check uh, the main when changing uh, irradiation from 400 watts per meter square to 800 watts per meter square you have to check the PV power so actual theoretical value is 8589 okay so we will check that so here we are getting 8571 but in case of fraction ladder I think is we are getting 8579 I think so right so here also you can see that so here you can see that variation of the grid current okay but that grid current having some hormone inside because uh, having uh, IQ is not settling to zero till now. Okay, so this is a variation of uh, ID and IQ. Okay, so after uh, two seconds, right, uh, irradiation change from 800 watts per meter square to 600 watts per meter square. So let me wait and check the results. So this is a variation of uh, grid voltage. So here the grid voltage is maintained at 230 volt face to ground, right? So now you can see that now only the IQ is reached to zero. Okay. So it will take more than it will take around two seconds to reach zero because if IQ is zero only that we can uh, we, we only sending real power to the grid. Okay. When IQ is having some value. Uh, it, uh, it draws some reactive power so that is a uh, that means uh, the THD of the grid current will be increased due, due to this reactive power okay so now you can see that we are extracting the maximum power around 85 sorry 6463 right here you can see that we are extracting the maximum power is 6463 but actual theoretical value is 6475 watts and also you can see the grid current here so this is a grid current so next we have to check the THT of the system with the PA controlled grid connected PV system so for that I am going to open this out and then X that mean and drag and put in the command window so and then I am going to open this THT F of the analysis and refresh and then once again so drag and paste in the command window enter and go to the effect analysis and then click IABC and then to same as the frequency and display so here you can see that we are getting 2.9 percent but uh, when we are using a uh, uh, fractional controller right so here for here you can say 3.95 so for 2.5 seconds we are getting around 4 percentage right so the THD around uh, more than 2 to 5 percentage right but in case of fraction order control we are getting only the th less than one percentage so, so when comparing the results right uh, that result of a fraction order pa control with the, with the conventional pa controller so fraction order pa control different connected pv system will provide the better results than the 
PA controller to connected PV system. So this is the working of this model. So thanks for watching our videos and kindly subscribe to the channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.